you got to give yourself another shot. Listen, we had a big crisis here when you were gone on uh, on Monday. Yes. Joy pinch hit. She wore her uh, jacket. She's very yes, fond of a leather ruined. jacket. Yeah. What happened? Very fancy leather jacket that she had. And of course, you know, uh, she comes in and we had a chef on who was uh, working with leftovers. Right. So he had this leftover chicken, I guess it was, and he made a fancy sauce, and they wanted uh, her to taste the sauce. So he dipped it in extra good, you know. Uh -huh. No, it wasn't, it wasn't chicken, it was rice. A stupid half a box of rice, you know? <laughs> when, you, when you order in from Chinese... You always have that extra rice. Hey, throw it out. Just throw it out. <laughs> Save it. It never tastes the same. Yeah, but you... Wait, Ten minutes not, later, it doesn't taste... Throw it out. It's not our nature. It's not worth it, but he We gave, don't throw things away because it's our mothers. It's the starving children in other countries theory. Listen, yes? to, your, listen to your father. Throw it out. <laughs> anyway... Anyway, yeah. Heat Sky had a whole list of ingredients. I, saw, I well, watched saw, the show. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, the sauce was pretty good. He wanted her to taste it. So he dipped it extra good in the chicken there and the thing, and then... Better to her, and of course... <gasps> on the jacket. Yeah. Okay, do you know how to... Okay, I can fix that. Let me just show okay. you what this looked like, because... Oh, we're going to do a yeah, replay? you got to see. Why don't you roll that right <laughs> down? This is oh, what that is delicious. Isn't that nice? Yes. You know, I mean, I see... I can but in tell order that... to cook these leftovers, you got to have 17 different ingredients. No, right. no, it's only a few ingredients. It's not worth it. A little it box of rice. Throw the rice out. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to go through all That's that work. That's what I do. Too much work. <laughs> Let's try, try the chicken. You don't want to try the chicken? No. I love the chicken. Um... Keith Fame, the chef. So now all we've yes. talked about and worried about is that jacket. Right. Because they say one spot, should you do the whole jacket? If you take the one spot out, it's going to change color. Mm. So she did a little investigation. You know, it may change the color of that spot. You understand? Right. Or should you do the whole jacket? I mean, it was the biggest deal. We finally found the ultimate cleaners. Okay. They think they are anyway. Um, you really? In Kansas City, of all places. Okay. Can I... Can I just tell you? Well, wait a minute. Let me just finish it. Arrow Fabricare Services, Kansas City, Missouri. Bob, a guy named Bob. Okay. So we talked with Bob yesterday. And what did Bob, Bob say? Bob said, I am the best there is in the world. In the world! <laughs> Actually, we called North Beach Leather Store, you know, over on Madison Avenue. Right. Who do you suggest for a stain on leather goods? And they recommend Bob. And this is who Bob. they recommend. This guy says he has a 95% chance of getting it done. Okay, can I just give you a simpler method? You can hand it over to the wardrobe department and all my children, and they can take any stain out of anything. <laughs> they are a crime scene investigator's nightmare because they can get anything. You understand, this is a very valuable piece of life. Oh, no, 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 I understand because... This is not the little Mickey Mouse stuff no. they give you to wear over and all my children. Mickey Mouse? Have you seen what Susan Lucci wears? Bite your tongue. This is the real McCoy. I'm talking and real McCoy. God forbid they should not be able to get this stain out. No, no, I don't Gelman's think Gelman's already walking on thin ice. I think <laughs> you should really, before you send it it's, over the... He's got it. It's in his hands. Oh, well, okay. All right. All right, you should have asked This guy takes care of around the world people send their goods to him. Okay, terrific. Great. <laughs> I've been dismissed. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm just, I'm just telling you, you could have you saved yourself a lot of time. You know what? If this guy can't do it, I take it right over there. We'll bring a camera over. You mean right in front of your eyes, they take it out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're amazing. Because what happens is, okay, say Susan Lucci is wearing Balenciaga. She right? always is. Yes. Right? This is not, that's not Mickey Mouse. That's not small potatoes. That is Balenciaga. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. she gets a, a stain of some kind. Not because she's clumsy, but because her scene partner is. <laughs> Say a stain appears yes. on her clothing. They've got to get that out instantaneously. No, no, no. But I'm talking about leather, which is very difficult to, we to use, extract. We've used leather on our show. <laughs> it's all my children, for heaven's sakes. Well, I'm not talking about a dress or cloth. I'm talking about leather. I'm talking they can get stains out of leather. They're amazing. Well, why don't you tell me this before you saw the show, you saw the stain on our leather? Why do you come forward now? I figure... Now it's in Bob's hands in Kansas City.
I figured it was already under control. Well, I hope it is. Bob says he's done this, but only 95% sure he can get it done. Okay, but well, I'll if, take if those the 5%... Odds. If he can't if 5 do it, happens, I'm gonna... give it to me. I'll give it to Margot over at All My Children, and Margo she will. Margot at All My Children. <laughs> I got Bob in Kansas City for God's sakes. <laughs> but if they can't do it, Margo Lazaro. Margo Lazaro. <laughs> I know, Margo, I know, Margo. Margo will get that stain out. You know, she because she'll be up all night toiling. She will be up all night. Yeah, but and she'll, she'll ruin the jacket, and then somebody's going to She will be out, pay. damn spot, and out it will come. I hope so. All right, so what else is going on? Now, on KCTV 5 News at Noon. Okay, now, if you are a regular fan of Regis and Kelly, you know, Joy Philbin spilled something on her jacket the other day. Well, not to fear. That jacket has been rushed here to Arrow Fabric Care in Kansas City. And these pictures were taken just about an hour ago. As we speak, they are hard at work on Joy's jacket. Now, is that the jacket? That is the jacket. That's like a $2,000 jacket. So. They're going to fix it. Joy's going to have it back maybe as soon as tomorrow. Did they get the stain out? No problem for those guys. <laughs> nice Bruce work. Bruce is on the case. That's it for us. <laughs> Goodbye. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> now on KCTV 5 News at 5. Well, if you watch Live with Regis and Kelly every morning, then you probably know what happened to Joy's jacket. But don't worry. It'll be okay thanks to a couple of guys here in Kansas City. KCTV 5's Brian Curtis picks up the story from there. Here we are at the corner of 39th and Troost at Arrow Fabricare, and Joy Philbin's jacket is right inside. I'm touching Joy's jacket. Boy, it's soft, isn't it? Very soft. Soft and stained, so thanks to this slip-up last no. week. Oh, I love the chicken. Uh. This is where the big, the big splatter was. That's a big and, uh, problem on a jacket that's worth about two thousand bucks. You get nervous working on Joy's jacket. It's it's like having a gun to your head. We finally found the ultimate cleaners. Okay. They think they are anyway. Uh, you really? In Kansas City of all places. Okay. Why is that such a surprise, Reg? Since he talked about Arrow this morning, Bob Gershon's phone won't stop ringing. My son got the first call at 8 o'clock in his car, and then I start getting them in at about uh, 8.30 uh, from everywhere. They all want the same service that many stars have known about for years. I got Bob in Kansas City, for God's sakes. And as soon as tomorrow, Joy Philbin will have her jacket back, and the next time you see her, she'll look spotless. Brian Curtis, KCTV 5. By the way, if you're wondering how much that VIP service will cost, the bill will run about 75 bucks, and you can see Regis and Kelly every morning at night. And I want to say one thing. Yeah. Aero is known internationally. People from all over the world send their clothes that are they have a hard time cleaning. They'll send them to Aero. Not just and, the rich and famous. No, absolutely not. Okay. So you've taken something there before. Well, I'm not rich and famous. Well, but you've taken stuff. <laughs> it's for everybody. Yeah, I understand exactly. It's a beautiful day not to spill something on your cup, right? No, but it, it is it for everybody. I've never indeed. had a $75 stain on anything before. <laughs> watching KCTV 5 News. This is the early show. Just right, the season. Before we leave you today, we have to update you on the most important story of the day. Oh well, yeah. Okay. Uh, remember of this? It is. What happened to uh, <laughs> Joy Philbin? Poor Joy. The other day. Uh-huh. I love the she psycho dripped, music. She like chicken sauce on her leather jacket. <gasps> <laughs> now you might say, "Who cares? You're Joy Philbin yeah. about a leather jacket." But it's a it's a pricey one, isn't it? Uh, uh, 2000 bucks, okay? Oh, my. So, anyway, they rushed the jacket off to <laughs> these guys. That's Bruce Gershon at Arrow Fabric Care over at 39th and Truce. No problem. Really? Yeah, Got it out? Absolutely. They said they did their research, uh, Joy and Regis did, and they knew these were the folks to do it. Oh, you know, actually, darn. lots of stars send their stuff here. Yeah, so. quite the popular And, and Joy should have her jacket back as early as today. That's how fast these guys work.
and you got to touch it. I did. Wow. I got to touch Joey's jacket. Wow. Bye -bye. We'll be back at 725. <laughs> See you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Listen, yesterday we talked about, you know... I you... hate when they give you scissors at 9.01 yeah, in the know, morning. I know, I know. I gotta open something, though. You know, no. Joy's jacket, this valuable jacket she has that got stained. Yes. We had to send it to Kansas City. It was the biggest deal in the world. Right. Because these guys are known all over the world for their reputation of cleaning things. Right, right, right. And so, um... It's back? I guess Gelman that was gave very me this. Swift. Is this from them, Gelman? Yes, it that is. That must Rage. be a gift certificate for a new jacket. <laughs> <laughs> From the Arrow Cleaners. Oh, right, that's the name. Well, that doesn't, Joy, doesn't sound that impressive. It's, it's, to Joy Philbin. Yeah. It's okay for you to open it, I'm I sure. So, You're yeah. married. Yeah. Don't cut the jacket with the scissors. <laughs> and don't cut yourself. Maybe you should let me. You know, I, I, frankly, I think that they over, they over lock up things when they when they send them. Just you know. Regis. What? Watch your arteries. <laughs> I just got here. I'd like a little more job security than you here. Than, than you leaving us today. Go ahead. Open that side. So ridiculous the way they pack things. Oh my gosh. You're worse than I am. Uh, you're right. Okay, here we go. That's Wait. good. Okay. Okay. That's okay. Good. This better be good, arrow cleaners. Oh my uh, god, they changed the color. No, no. No, they no. They changed the color. Wait, She's gonna there's have a letter. A fit. There's a letter. There's See what they say. Okay. Dear Joy and Regis, Joy and Regis, <laughs> enclosed is Joy's favorite jacket, looking like new again. Bob and I can't thank you enough for all the wonderful publicity. The phones have been ringing off the hook. We had a call from Brian at the local affiliate news station, and they came over and did a story of really? them working on the jacket. <laughs> news. Hey, news enclosed. in Kansas City. <laughs> business cards and informational pieces take about it easy guys <laughs> and uh thanks again for the awesome plug and 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 give kelly a card so margo if margo has a problem with the leather garment that she can't oh. handle but here it can, is that, that's great it's and terrific. not bad huh look at that Good all done perfect. the stain is gone Very nice job. Oh, Arrow Fabricare Services. Fabricare. That yeah, Fabricare, everything. right. Everything. So who sent this? Bruce Gershon? Uh, I thought yes, his name Bruce... was Bob. I talked about Bob yesterday. Well, no, Bob and I can't oh, Bob thank and I, you yeah. enough. Probably brothers. I think Bruce is the typist, and then Bob does the spot work. <laughs> thank you very, That's very terrific. much. It looks terrific. Joy and you got is going to be out. so thrilled. Well, it was a difficult stain. That's a nice jacket. Not bad. Yeah, did you get her that, or was that let's a joy it, purchase? Let's see if it fits you. Oh, all right. <laughs> Okay. That's very nice. Yeah. You got to take the puff out of the sleeve. Yeah. Do you want me to do that? Yeah. I'll get myself in here. I'll get myself <laughs> into it. This was a bad idea, Kelvin. <laughs> <laughs> Any more, little? Okay, great. Here, I'm gonna. You know, because maybe. Uh, here, you can. You can. Maybe you like it so much you'd like to buy it from us. <laughs> here you go. Oh, thank slip you. into it this way. Slip into it that way. Okay. I'm usually I'm used to men what taking my clothes you? off. Huh? What? She means on her soap opera. Not around here. That's what I mean. What, are you what size are you anyway? Are you bigger I'm, than Joy? I'm Joy size. Are you? All right, I'm bigger than Joy. Leave me alone. This fits flawlessly on Joy. Here it's bulking out a little. <laughs> it's not bulking out. You're crazy. What are these? Those are I, are these stains? No. What are these, Gelman? No, these no, are no, stains. No, 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 no. That's no, part no. of that's the part style. Of the are you sure, Gelman? I'm yes. positive because I pointed that out to Joy when I saw her. It does look good. A guy did yeah. a good job. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we got to we, we see what it looks like. I can't get these things up here. <laughs> this is a jacket you should not uh, put on in case of a fire because it's got the little eye, the hook and eye. Oh yeah, it'll drive you and crazy. And so instead of a snap or a zipper, you've got a hook and yeah. eye, everything like a. Corset. Every time she wears it, I'm in bed asleep, and she's still trying to get out of it. <laughs> It's a very nice jacket. Not right? bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Okay. This, is this what men do? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's been a long time. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> now, on KCTV 5 News at Noon.
Oh, we got a follow-up for you right now. Now, this one is good. This one is really good. <laughs> you know how yesterday we showed you Joy Philbin's jacket? She spilled some stuff on it on Live with Regis and Kelly. So they rushed the jacket off to Kansas City. Here. To the guys at Aero Fabricare. They worked on it all day yesterday and then rushed it back to New York City overnight. And voila, the box arrived. On the air this morning. Take a look. If Margot has a problem with a leather garment, they should get oh. in, no? But here because it is. That, that's great. It's and not thing. bad, huh? Look at that. Good all done. Okay. The stain is gone. Adolfinos. Thank you, Arrow. Very nice job. Oh, Arrow Fabricare Services. Fabricare. That yeah, Fabricare, right. Everything. So who sent this? Bruce Gershon? Uh, I thought yes, his name Bruce... was Bob. I talked about Bob yesterday. Well, no, Bob and I can't oh, thank I, you yeah. enough. Probably Bruce. I think Bruce is the typist, and then Bob <laughs> does the spot work. Thank you very, that's very terrific. much. So, thank you guys. Accomplished. Wow, Arrow makes national news. Yeah. And apparently they mentioned Brian's name in that same well, letter. They did, because in that letter, the guys at Arrow had said, you know, Brian from a local TV station came over and did a story. And so, and what a story Kelly it is. Ripa said my name. I wonder how much they charged. <laughs> That's my claim to fame. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how much they charged uh, Regis and Joy for a, a stained uh, cleanup on the weather jacket. They said it was about 75 bucks. Worth it, I suppose, for a $2,000 jacket. Huh? Yeah, I would think so. I guess so. That is the latest from KCTV 5 News at Noon. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. $2,000 leather jacket. Now on KCTV 5 News at 5. Well, now we have a follow-up on the saga of Joy Philbin's jacket. If you're a regular viewer of Live with Regis and Kelly, you know that last week Joy dripped some sort of sauce on her fancy leather jacket. So they sent that jacket off to the Aero Fabric Kit right here in Kansas City. Yesterday, we showed you the meticulous restoration effort. Overnight, the jacket was rushed back to New York where Regis and Kelly opened it on this morning show. Take a look. But here it is. Not, that's great. And Terrific. not bad, huh? Look at that. Good All done. Okay. The stain is gone. See, it looks just like brand new. Of course, Kansas City to the rescue. Anytime New York, uh, anybody in New York has a problem, that's right. give us a call. We'll take care of it. You're watching KCTV 5 News. This is The Early Show. Thank you. All right, let's talk a little bit about Brian's claim to fame yesterday <laughs> oh, morning, please. shall we? Yes, Regis and Kelly. I'm never the end of this. Yeah, well, you know, okay, remember back Joy mm -hmm. Philbin, Regis's right. wife, was on the show one day doing a cooking right. segment. Plop spilled something on, on her $2,000 Hello leather jacket, and uh, someone recommended to them to send it to Kansas City, right? right? They rushed it off. The guys at Aero Fabric Hair fixed it up, mm -hmm. shipped it back to New York, and they opened it on the show yesterday. Check it out. Mm -hmm. We had a call from Brian at the local affiliate news station, and they came over and did a story of really? them working on the jacket. <laughs> <laughs> news. Hey, David. News Close. in Kansas City. <laughs> but here it is. That, that's great. And not bad, huh? Look at that. Good All done. Okay. The stain is gone. Well. Yes, be nice to us, Reed. Stay <laughs> tuned. We'll be back at 725. Have a great weekend. Oh, it, 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 it was that hand, oh, I think. There you go. There you go. There they say it. Brian. <laughs> Kelly says, Brian. <laughs> you have to say it. Oh, I will. Yeah. <laughs>